Miss Davis, we were all shocked, of course, and distressed to read of Chuck Hughes' death, the 28-year-old wide receiver for the Detroit Lions, mm -hmm. and even more shocked to read in the paper this morning that he seemed to have the insides of an old man. He was suffering from hardening of the arteries. Mm -hmm. Do you think possibly this could be attributed to the high cholesterol American diet of, of steak and baked potatoes with butter and whole milk and ice cream? I understand, incidentally, that autopsies are taken in Vietnam of uh, of young men who die there, and the same thing is being found. I think it's just one more, um, uh, one more um, evidence, piece of evidence of our general malnutrition. For instance, um, a number of baby formulas, of uh, commercial baby formulas, were fed to baby monkeys, and I think they used uh, five or six different commercial formulas entirely. Uh, all of them supposedly uh, uh, just as good as mother's milk, you know, quote, quote, quote. And um, um, it was supposedly very adequate. And at the end of a the year, they killed the monkeys and found their blood vessels solid with cholesterol. Um, it isn't just the potatoes with the butter. It is the tremendous amounts of refined foods that people are eating. It's the soft drinks. It's the imitation fruit juices. It's the pie places that are open. It's the cranberry juice full of uh, sugar. It has to be to get by the tonsils with a little dab of vitamin C, which is nothing but a talking point. It's the fact that people, the commercial people, care nothing about our health, and all they're interested in is making money off of our foods. And pretty, anyone who isn't trained in nutrition or isn't at least aware of nutrition is simply a, a, a um, victim of the commercial of commercialism, of the white flour, refined sugar, soft drinks, all sorts of package mixes, everything, cereals and so on, that have been robbed of their nutrients and have been put back. We can expect more and more, actually, this young man's death was the sixth among the football players, you know. And uh, we can expect more and more as the future goes on. I think we're, um, we're past the, the uh, point of no return and a great, much, a great deal of our health now. Well, of course, uh, orthodox nutritionists who, uh, I guess, have given you a bad time through the years will say, as they have for some time, that if people would choose from the four basic groups, meats, vegetables, dairy products, and cereals and breads, that sort of thing, that they can manage fairly, fairly well nutritionally. I How do you feel about that. this? No, I, I don't think, as far as I know, no one's given me a bad time. If, if I've been given a bad time, I'm too dumb to know it. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think maybe sometimes I could give them a little bad time. If one ate only unrefined foods, of, uh, if you say the basic is whole grain breads and cereals, not enriched, which I'm sure makes it worse than, instead of better. Um, if it's the fresh grown fruits and vegetables grown without chem chemical fertilizers or poison sprays. If it's um, good meat grown without dibethyl stabesterol, and uh, good milk, preferably raw, safe, preferably medically certified, then a person can get along fine. And I think that includes the basics. But uh, uh, you get um, all the packaged stuff that we have and all the refined foods, three-fourths or more of the food most people eat is refined, and they've lost the nutrients, and we are uh, producing an awful lot of malformed, brain-damaged babies nowadays. We are having the school lunches are absolutely disgraced. Most of it is soft drinks with a, a greasy hamburger on white bread. There's no nutrients in that. A um, little dab of protein salt. And the, the degree of malnutrition in America is just getting frightful. It is just frightful.